Welcome everyone to Circle Triangle Square. I am Corey and my brother Cody is not here today. I'm going to touch base on Call of Duty Modern Warfare. If you're wondering who we are, my brother and I have been playing games for over 30 years and we have a collection, and I mean a massive collection of classic video games, all the way from Intellivision up until PS4. Pretty much every single system, like Sega Saturn, Sega CD, Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo, all the Game Boys, everything. I'm going to go over all that kind of stuff with you guys in future videos, like the massive game collection that I know you want to see. But today's video is about Call of Duty Modern Warfare and the five things that I absolutely despise and that need to get fixed because this could be a good game. It has a lot of potential and these five things hold it back. So first, let's start off with bombs and grenades. There is just too much going on in this game related to bombs and grenades, and they're not realistic. Like, they nerfed the claymore, so now you pretty much have to touch the claymore physically, not the trip lines, for it to go off. That's kind of silly if you ask me. And also, the proximity mine, which is basically an IED, if you go prone on it or you crouch while walking by, it won't damage you, which is a load of crap. Another annoying part of the bombs and grenades is the C4. Players will roll up in a room where you're camping and you may have a trip mine or a proximity mine, and they'll just go ahead and open the door, toss the C4 and close the door and detonate it, which will pretty much eliminate all your protective devices around the room and possibly even killing you and or your team. Then they'll reopen the door and start shooting. It creates chaos. It's just become so over used and the reason is because it pretty much renders the claymore and the proximity mine useless not only the fact that you have to physically touch the claymore now and like i said earlier going prone on the proximity mine or crouching past it you will not even be damaged by it it really really sucks in conjunction with the fact they can just throw c4 in a room and detonate everything anyway it almost makes it impossible to be able to use the proximity mine or the claymore the semtex is also a very annoying grenade players will just toss it into a room full of people and that'll pretty much destroy everything but the most annoying part of the grenades or lethals in modern warfare is the grenade itself yeah the grenade the one that's useless in battlefield and black ops 4 nobody uses it because by the time it detonates everybody's run away or throwing it back and it pretty much gets you no kills almost all the time except in modern warfare they've created it in such a fashion that they can hold on to the grenade until it's almost ready to blow and then when they throw it it explodes the moment it's in your vicinity that's right guys a lot of the times the grenade has not even landed in the room people have thrown it into and it blows up killing everybody yeah, that really sucks when you see the red icon on the screen knowing there's a grenade incoming and you go to run away and you're dead. You try to pick it up, you're dead. Doesn't matter. If you see that red icon on the screen in Modern Warfare, you're dead and there's no way to get away from it because everybody is timing the grenade and throwing it with just enough time for it to enter a room and explode. That needs to be nerfed or fixed somehow or another because every grenade gets at least one to three kills in a room. Yeah, that's got to change. Moving along to number four, and that is the shotguns. The shotguns absolutely, positively need to be nerfed. Come on. They are too strong. Pretty much one shot kill every time. Even the leg, you're pretty much dead. And the really sucky part about the shotguns is you can kill someone about 50 feet away almost like a DMR. Now, you're not going to be sitting on the other end of the screen sniping people with a shotgun. No, that's not what I'm saying. However, the shotgun will kill you pretty far away and a lot more that's realistic. And everyone is basically just running around rooms, camping and shotgunning. The most annoying part of the shotgun is people are pretty much camping. That's right, just camping in rooms waiting for you to walk by. And even if you have eyes like a hawk and are able to spot them in the corner of the screen somehow, some way, by the time you actually respond by trying to shoot at them, you're dead instantly. Even if you meet someone face to face running up and down the stairs or through a hallway and you meet at the same time you both go to fire, the shotgun guy is going to win 9 out of 10 times. And considering almost everybody's using it, it makes it very hard to run and gun in Call of Duty Modern Warfare, which was already damn near impossible to begin with. So the shotguns need to be fixed. Number three is the absolutely atrocious matchmaking. The matchmaking in this game is pretty much the worst in the entire franchise as it seems to somehow get confused with players that have good stats and bad stats. That's right, a lot of the time, my brother and I, we're pretty decent players, get paired with 
really bad players. I mean, we're talking like every single game is 75 to 30 or 75 to 40 or even worse. And when we are winning, it is the exact same thing. Very rare will you see a game in Modern Warfare with less than a five point spread, something you'd see in Black Ops 4 quite often. That means the matchmaking is not there. It is a very big problem in Modern Warfare with every single game, and I'm complaining even when I win because when I win a battle, I would really like it to be 75 to 74. I like to get down to the crunch, the last few seconds, the last kill, and I like it to be an epic battle. When I'm on the winning team and we win 75 to 30, that sucks. And when you're on the losing team and you lose 75 to 30, that sucks even more. The matchmaking absolutely needs to be fixed. Now, moving along to number two. Spawn killing, yeah, that's a problem in pretty much all first person shooters and was a bigger problem in Black Ops 4. Well, at least that's what I thought until Modern Warfare came out and now I realize that this is the worst game for spawn killing in the entire Call of Duty franchise and pretty much of any first person shooter I have ever played. Every single round, you're going to get spawn killed at least one or two times, which is unheard of considering it only happens pretty randomly and scarcely in Black Ops 4. There are many times when I spawn in Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and the moment I spawn in, there's an enemy that spawns right in front of me, and I'm able to shoot him right in the back. That's happened to me as well. I've spawned in, someone has shot me in the back. In fact, many of the rounds that I play, I'm spawn killed three or four times in one round. They have got to fix the spawning system in Modern Warfare. It is absolutely sucky, and I can't stand it. It's one of the most annoying things about this entire game. And that moves us along to number one, and my most hated and most annoying problem with Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Yes, it is the camping. The camping has become a serious problem in Modern Warfare. However, in Black Ops 4, there really isn't a whole lot of camping as that game is pretty much focused on speed, running, and gunning, and I loved it a lot. That game is just brilliant. Modern Warfare has a serious camping problem. Every single player in Modern Warfare is camping. Very rarely will you see anybody running up and down hallways or rooms killing people. In fact, I can't remember the last time I saw that happen. Everybody is camping with shotguns, bombs, and score streaks. That's it. It's pretty much find the nearest room, set up a trip mine, and snipe, shotgun, and bomb everybody that runs by. It has become a total camp fest, and it's really quite annoying. The game doesn't really rely so much on skills and aiming accuracy as you would expect like previous Call of Duty games, such as Black Ops 4. It pretty much comes down to whoever the bigger camper is and can hide better and bomb people and shotgun them while they run by or snipe them is pretty much the number one killer in that game. And it really is quite annoying because Modern Warfare has the potential to be the best Call of Duty ever made. Now, I'm gonna be doing a video on the five things that I absolutely love about Call of Duty Modern Warfare and why I think it's one of the best Call of Duties ever made and why I think it could potentially be the best and the things that are holding it back. That video is gonna be coming up real soon. Those are the five things I hate about Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Let me know in the comments below, guys, what do you hate about Call of Duty Modern Warfare? What do you love? If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button, punch the subscribe button if you're stopping in for the first time, and comment below. Thank you so much for watching Circle Triangle Square. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. Check out my other videos, and I will see all of you guys on the next upload. Sorry.